In order to work with the new adaptive plan feature, I'll simply select a unit or a group of identical units. Then I will right click and hit Find Adaptive Plan. Immediately, I'm presented with a set of plans. I can either search for specific plans within my library or take a look through the results that Finch suggests. Plans with a green check mark mean that they're a perfect fit. So if I go ahead and click on this, I'll see that I simply can just assign the plan. However, if I have a percentage, such as this plan with a 71%, that percentage is how well the plan will fit into the unit I'm requesting. And here I can actually take advantage of Finch's smart algorithms and choose to adapt the unit, where Finch will adapt the plan to the unit while maintaining consideration of your constraints and local regulations. We can also choose to assign the plan as is, which means the plan will just be pasted in in its original shape and I may need to do some further editing to get it to adhere to my requirements. In this case, I'll go ahead and work with a plan that's a perfect fit and assign it out. And now I see that the plan has been pasted into all of the identical units, each one rotated to accommodate the corridor and entrances. In order to build up my adaptive plan library, I can draw plans directly in my project and then save them to my library. So if I head into one of these apartments here by hitting Edit Unit, I can of course customize it, add my own furniture, change the doors, or I can simply just save it to my library as a new plan. Once I've added my plan to my adaptive library, I can go into the plan and edit it further. I can use the Stretch Preview tool to understand how this plan will be stretched when it's turned into an adaptive plan. Here I can see that all of the spaces are expanding and contracting equally. However, if I have quite strict regulations for certain areas, I can actually go in and lock specific modules. To do that, I'll use the constraints tool. In this case, I want to lock the bathroom as well as the hallway, so I'll lock those walls by selecting them. Now, when I stretch the plan, I'm going to see that the other rooms are actually stretching while the bathroom and hallway remain fixed. Once I hit save, now this plan has been added to my library and I can go ahead and search for it as an adaptive plan to populate my project further.